Lisa Rinna, I don't believe you. You need more people. Like, Lisa Rinna is, I think, a liar. I think she's lying. Now, I do believe Kathy did say something in the sprinter, but I don't think she said all of what Lisa said. Why? Because I think she's smarter than that. Though she, you know, Kathy walks around, you know, they portray, they're portraying her like she's just like this, this chick who's on quaaludes or something like that. She's like all oh, ditzy and Kathy doesn't care. You know, Kathy's going to wear, the, Kathy, you're wearing, using that bag. <laughs> Kathy, she's so funny. I don't think Kathy would divulge all of that to Lisa. And then Lisa says she was stomping around, having a tantrum. Like, Kathy doesn't even seem like she has enough energy to stomp around and have a tantrum. So I feel like this whole episode, and this is a rant, not a recap. This whole episode was Kyle. I feel like Kyle, it was a scheme that Kyle had to come to you with the BS. Like, I feel like Kyle, being the producer's pet that she is, is mad at Kathy. And so it seems as though this whole season, Kyle has been trying to take down her sister or to make her sister look like a fool. For whatever the family's issues are, Kyle is mad and she she's just mad at Kathy. So she's using as... As other reality stars who don't want to look bad, what they tend to do, I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, one is married to Marvin. (laughs) Let's just say Marvin. But it seems as though the one who's married to Marvin always gets her click to deliver the nastiness. Although this season, this past season, she was doing it on her own. But I'm talking about Candy. But so it seems as though Kyle has her minions out there, i.e. Lisa Diana, was Dorit doing some mess? No, but I feel like Kyle has them working for her. Like, Diana's the girl who's going to react. Like, oh, she was so mad. She was raging. Kathy was raging. And Lisa is the one delivering it. Because Lisa don't care. Lisa said it. She'll sell anything. So anybody who says they'll sell anything will sell you out. And that's what Lisa has done time after time. But the funny thing is, and I'm going to pivot for a second. Lisa, it was in the press. I saw a caption that Lisa Rinna wants to be the highest paid housewife. For what? You're not necessary. Lisa Rinna, you're not necessary. You're not, you're not the player on the show that you think you are. Like, you're no NeNe Leakes. You're no Bethany. You're no, even Teresa, which I don't understand why Teresa is the Teresa of the show because she's so dull to me and she's dumb, but that's another story. You're not even Vicky Gumbelson. You're not even Lisa Vanderpump, which she was. Like, Lisa Renner, you're disposable. You can go. You don't need to be paid any more than you're being paid already because you bring nothing to the show. All you bring is Harry Hamlin this, Harry Hamlin that, Amelia and whatever her name is. Was it Amelia and Eliza or whatever? Who cares? That's, see, that's how insignificant Lisa Renna is to the show. I can't even remember both of her daughter's names. And it's like, you want to get paid more? Like, just because you, like, you think you're having a stellar season? You know, she said, I'm a bitch. I'm such a bitch. Like, Lisa, you're a joke. Like, nobody wants you. People don't like you, Lisa. Like, you were funny for a few seasons, but ultimately you're annoying and that hair is really annoying. Like, Lisa, you look so much better when you switch up that uh, that so-called iconic hairstyle. But so back to the what they're doing is it's like Kyle was MIA pretty much his entire episode. So this is when everybody can do the dirty work. So Kyle can like say, I wasn't there. I didn't say that. So... Crystal has this Roaring Twenties birthday party and, you know, everybody shows up in their Roaring Twenties interpretations of Roaring Twenties outfits. Like, I actually felt for the first time, Garcelle ate. I don't even use words like that. She ate. That girl ate. I don't use... But Garcelle, she killed it. Although I wouldn't have worn that necklace. But that was the best look that I've seen Garcelle in this entire season. Actually, since she's been on the show. I thought it was sleek. 
So they all show up. And Crystal, you know, she's kind of like, you know, an, an Asian Roaring Twenties girl. Like, she has on her, her kimono, you know, whatever. And Erica shows up, and she has this crown tiara on. Roaring just, her, makeup look, her makeup was great, I thought. So, but the real gist of the party is Lisa says she, when Kathy showed up, like, Kathy showed up like nothing happened. I mean, she was dressed to the nines. Kathy looked sloppy to me. She didn't look like a, a flapper, someone in the 20s. She just looked like she had on this sloppy dress and put on some accessories that looked like the 20s. But Lisa was like, she acted like nothing happened and that made her uncomfortable. Really, Lisa? That made you uncomfortable to the point where you had to up and leave? Kathy wasn't doing anything. She wasn't saying anything. Why are you so uncomfortable? I mean, Lisa, weren't you the one who, like, took that glass and, like, threatened Kim? Don't you ever say anything about my husband? Like, Lisa, you've witnessed more rage out of Erica Jane, like, the last episode, last two episodes. And Kathy, so Kathy's so-called tantrum stomping around dad had you going when Erica left Kyle's house in the middle of the night you I mean that upset you to see Kathy do that man Lisa you can go what do you think are you all over Lisa Renna because this whole video was dedicated to Lisa Renna so I'm definitely over Lisa Renna I'm actually just over a lot of these girls Dorit has no storyline Erica just gets away with murder. And I said on another video about another show that I wish people could tap in and just like tell somebody off the way they need to be told off. And I know production does something where it's kind, it's a very soap opera-ish um, show. So it's like one person's going to say something so vile and the other person doesn't, their response, like Diana can call sudden to see you next Tuesday and Sutton just sits there and takes it. In the real world, well, I don't know about in that circle, but in circles that I've been in, and I'm not even in like really like like bone crushing type circles where people like telling people off. But let's just say in Atlanta, that would never happen. But then it kind of does happen. Let me stop that. Because can you no one's ever shut down, can you? And it's not like Kenya is the is the queen of reeds. Kenya is the um, the shade assassin. I feel like Kenya's rehearsed, but that's just my feeling. But it's just like, why don't these people shut Erica down? It's like they're so afraid of Erica. Like, what's she gonna do? Like, all you have to do if she even hits you, you can sue her, and that's just one more lawsuit for Erica that she probably can't pay for. And speaking of that, did you see that gossip? about the man who was paying her legal fees and he was also a friend of Tom's. I really believe that in my heart of hearts, this is just my opinion. These are all alleged thoughts that Tom knew what was coming down the pike for him and they started funneling money into that man's account who then funneled money to Erica. But that's just my thought, my intuition. Anyhow, this is getting long. So, you know, let me know your thoughts. Are you over Lisa Renna? Are you over Kyle? Are you... Is, is Kathy even interesting to you? Let me know your thoughts. Like and subscribe.